at the um at the uh at the, basically the, the press conference at the beginning um media day. I asked him at the end of the meeting, like, you ready to put on that um that, that turnover chain? And he's like, you already know. As soon as he put the damn turnover chain, the man, <laughs> the man get injured for the rest of the season. I was like, oh man, what kind of trash is that, man? <laughs> As soon as he put the turnover chain, somebody who tackled him, somebody tackled him, man. He went up for chest bump and ended up Florida State, right? Yeah, Florida State game. Um, as soon as he put the turnover chain on, man, I was like, oh. He was man. playing. He was, and at that, that, that point, he was playing good, man. He came in and like it right. was gonna be hard to keep him off the field. So. Nah, nah. So he, he'll be big for us. He'll be big for us this year. But bro. we have a lot. We have excellent safety depth. Um, right. Like I said, we have excellent safety depth. Then we got uh, a couple freshmen that's gonna come in. Deshaun Washington, he's out there right now. So he has the upper hand. Right. Um, you got Avante Williams. Uh, I forget the kid name. From, um, Keyshawn, 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 Keysh
Bizu Manizu, King Biz 3, he asks any old school leaders developing on the D or the O. We've been missing that for a long time. Um, Cam seemed like he was ready to Cam, run through a wall as Cam, 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 Cam seems a lot more like yeah. he's talking a lot more. You know, yeah. he's, he's stepping up into that leader role. He seemed like he was ready. He, yeah. he seemed like he was ready. He was more vocal. He, he was more direct. He, um, he, I don't know, man. It seemed like they got in his ear and he, and he took it, took the bull by the took horn the and he like he's ready. Down. Anybody on the defense? Defense is hard to say. I mean, you know, you got our blades. Our blades always been out, one of the out, most outspoken players on our team. Um, right. Um, Darren King seems really, really. Um, yeah, Darren. I mean, but that's just that's just natural. Really he's just, just a natural. He's just natural leader. Um, being that he plays the quarterback position. Yeah. Um, on defense, it's like I said, it's hard because last year you had Pigney and Shaq. You know, McLeod is not actually that is open and spoken like as as them two were. But uh -huh. I look for him to be the, the leader. McLeod? Yeah, McLeod. Right. Um, him and maybe Greg Russo. You right. know, so we'll see how that go. Second question I have is from Lon. Loon is grateful. He asks, what position are you concerned with the most for the Canes going into 2020? You concerned? Um, defensive tackle. Defensive tackle. Um, Teams and tackle. You know, of course, the whole offensive line, that's that's like without a doubt the, 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 the main issue. But these and tackle. When you have a talent such as Greg Russo, um, Routes, and um, right. Phillips, Harvey, you have these the ends who could be game changers, but you need these tackles to hold their guys. Right. Where they can't you can't double team the Greg Russo, you know what I'm saying? So we're gonna need Nesta Ford, Miller, right? Um, the set. We're gonna need them guys to step up big time. You know what I'm saying? Make um, you know, and it's not all of, always about stacks with these tackles. You know, it's just holding up your guy so the other guys can do their their job. Right. Um, that's me. Think these tackle. How you feel about? Uh, a, a position of concern. Um, hmm. I guess if I had to say a cornerback. I guess uh, our cornerback seem to be kind of um, mediocre, but I guess that's going to help when we get more pressure on the quarterback. I would say I would say cornerback if I had to be concerned about something that's that uh, that can really affect the game. You know what I'm saying? I would say cornerback. Yeah, it'd be cornerback is another I mean, position. Um, it was only two questions. No, no, we have another question. Can I have, um, uh, I have another question coming from Gucci Fiji Water. <laughs> uh, okay, yeah, I think I answered this on the live, but he says two guys I really want aren't South Florida guys, but are from Florida. Terry and Arnold is in the Panhandle, and Chase Smith is a Palm Bay. Do you guys like them or like them, and our chances of getting them? Um, you said we got a chance to get one of them. Who was it? I think Chase Smith. Chase Smith. Yeah, Chase Smith. Um, I don't know if he's going to be a linebacker or a safety. He's 6'3", what, 190. Uh -huh. um, somebody told me, his. I think his dad played for Young back right. in the days. Uh, I got to still do research on that. But um, they think they think University of um, Kid can play. I mean, he can play. Um, you just got to find a position for him to play. The yeah. other kid, Terran Arnold, we, we not getting him out of bounds. <laughs> we just leave that alone. You know what I'm saying? Show a little interest. John Paul Catholic, Terran Arnold, yeah. safety 6'2", 287 pounds. Yeah, it's Bama. Right in, you know, right over there in Tallahassee land, and they not getting them. So, hey, don't be mad if we don't get them. <laughs> they think Alabama, Florida, Florida State. Yeah, John so Paul Catholic. Shouts out to my home with Kappa, Kappa Kane. You know, that's, that's my brother uh -huh. from another, um, you know, I be doing the tailgates with him. I did the big one up there in Orlando with him and my other boy, um, Brother Mo. You know, we that's that's the three of us who basically do the uh, tailgates and then you know have other people um, join in with us. But shouts out to the tailgate squad. Um, we we I'm, I'm planning something, man. Planning something for you guys because I know everybody been asking me. Everybody want to join tailgates and come party. You ain't got no answers yet, do you? Um, <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm trying to. Hey, I'm trying to figure out it's gonna be some football, man. We just uh -huh, right. I just seen LSU have 30 players test positive the other day. Clemson got 28. 
Okay. And that's two teams that was in that championship last year. So can you catch it twice? Can you catch Corona twice? I, um, apparently you can. <laughs> apparently you can. But is it is it effective? Is you catching it the first time or something? I don't know. So. Right, right, right. I don't but, know. I don't know, man. We definitely gonna set something up. Um, we'll let you as, as we yeah. go, man. We hear more information. We'll let you go. Uh, more information come out from University of Miami. We'll let you guys know. Uh, like I said, if you want to invest in stocks, if you've been thinking about just investing in the stock market. Uh, the link in the bio, um, Twitter questions, man. Anytime you got a, you want a question you want to add, man, just post it to our Twitter at Caneville three hundred five, and, and and shoot your questions at us. Um, if you can't find the, the tweet, um, X usually put up. Go follow us on Footballville. Make sure you subscribe. If you want to support, hit the join button down there. You become a member, support. You get a badge by your name when you comment. You stick out from everybody. It's X, man. I'm D Street, Footballville, Caneville, man. We out of here. Yeah, yeah. Peace.